in the shadowy waterways of South America. A titan slithers unseen. Earth's heaviest snake and a master of stealth. It's also the second longest snake in the world after the reticulated python. Eunectes marinus belongs to the Bovidae family. One of three Eunectes species of anaconda, it is the most common and usually the species referred to when people speak of the anaconda. Eunectes means good swimmer, reflecting the semi-aquatic nature of the genus. Green anacondas dominate tropical South America, from Venezuela's wetlands to Brazil's Amazon rainforest. Rare invasive populations exist in Florida, but their true stronghold spans Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. They thrive in lowland regions below 300 meters elevation, where water is abundant all year. With its olive green skin marked by black oval blotches, the green anaconda blends seamlessly into its swampy habitat. Their eyes and nostrils sit atop the head, allowing the snake to see and breathe nearly fully submerged, perfect for water ambush. Specialized scales detect heat and vibrations, while flexible jaws unhinge to swallow prey whole. Their windpipe moves forward when feeding, so that they can continue to breathe whilst consuming their meal, which can take hours. Like some pythons, they have spurs, which are vestigial limbs, remnants of hind legs from their ancestors. They appear as small, claw-like appendages located on either side of their cloaca. Males have larger spurs which play a key role in mating. Females are much larger than males. The green anaconda inhabits slow-moving rivers and marshes, mainly in tropical rainforests and seasonally flooded grasslands. Much of their natural habitat can be difficult for people to access, which can make them challenging to study. Green anacondas are opportunistic carnivores that use heat-sensing pits to detect prey. As non-venomous constrictors, they use ambush tactics. They strike with over 40 backwards curving teeth, then coil around prey with 9,000 kilopascals of pressure, crushing bones and suffocating victims within minutes. They feed on almost anything they can overpower, including fish, amphibians, birds, mammals, and other reptiles. Large adults tackle capybaras, tapirs, caimans, and even jaguars, but such large males are rare as they can damage or even kill the snake. Females are also known to consume males after mating. Although large green anacondas are certainly capable of consuming humans, there is no evidence of people being on the menu. Green anacondas are semi-aquatic. Floating underwater helps to sustain their large mass and they can remain submerged for 10 minutes. They are also quick swimmers, reaching speeds of 16 kilometers per hour. During the dry season or droughts, they burrow into mud or migrate to deeper pools. 
They tend to be solitary, coming together only to mate, but they have been observed basking together on river banks. Despite their immense size, even large green anacondas are hunted by jaguars, black caimans, and Orinoco crocodiles. Juveniles face these threats as well as being vulnerable to large birds. Female green anacondas are unmatched in mass, and there have been rumors of lengths beyond 9 and even 12 meters, but these have not been confirmed, although larger specimens are expected to live deep in their habitats. These locations are difficult for people to reach, making maximum size difficult to confirm. It is a challenge to measure them in the wild, and even more challenging to transport them, so there are many unconfirmed estimates, with the largest being 227 kilograms, heavier than a grand piano. The average length is estimated to be around 6 meters, with the most reliable measurements from a female in captivity growing to a length of 6.27 meters and weighing around 100 kilograms. Their girth can exceed 30 centimeters, enabling them to consume prey 50% of their body weight. Males are much smaller at around half the size and weight of females. Solitary for most of their lives, green anacondas usually only gather to breed. Sometimes up to 13 males can form a breeding ball, wrestling for weeks to mate with a single female. Males use their spurs to stimulate females by pressing and scratching their spurs on the cloacal region of the female. The strongest and largest males are often successful and copulate by moving their cloacas together. After mating, females may cannibalize the smaller males, giving them extra protein for their gestation, which lasts around seven months. They are oviviparous and give birth to live young. Females will consume undeveloped eggs as well as stillborn in order to help them recover from the long fast during their gestation. With litters usually around 20 to 40, but a hundred have been observed. Newborns tend to be 60 to 70 centimeters long, receive no parental care and are highly vulnerable to predators. When isolated from males, females are able to give birth without male input. This is known as parthenogenesis and several species of snake are capable of this, including the Jamaican boa and some pit vipers. In the wild, green anacondas live to around 10 years. In captivity, free from the stresses of hunting and predators, they have lived for over 30 years. Although the green anaconda is listed as least concern by the International Union for Nature Conservation, they do face mounting pressures. Habitat destruction, pollution, and hunting for skins or traditional medicine threaten their populations. Conservation efforts currently focus on protecting wetlands and curbing illegal trade.